What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the show. This right here is going to be another Gray Zone Warfare video. We're going to be talking about the discussion that everybody's having, which is the PvEVP style of Gray Zone Warfare. There seems to be a little bit of back and forth, whether it be through the comment sections of YouTube videos or the Discord. There's a lot of people that are kind of worried about the uh, PvP aspect of the game and how their play style is going to fit into this type of game. So basically, I want to clear the fog and uncover some key facts that both PvP and PvE enthusiasts should consider. First, and absolutely foremost, let's get the obvious out of the way first. None of us have played the game yet. Drawing conclusions about PvP or PvE or anything else at this point may lead to disappointment. Y'all have to understand that. Patience is key. Wait until you've had a chance to play it or at least watch somebody play it and see how everything unfolds. I recently watched a video of Nice Guy talking to Rick, who is the PR and comms director of Madfinger Games. And Rick gave a lot of insight about this topic. I encourage you to go watch his video. He mentioned a heightened PvP aspect near the middle of the map. He hinted at faction-wide cooperation, and it seems like suggested events designed around the 16 v 16 v 16 for the persistent map control, which that's obviously a clear focus on PvP. Now, for the PvP enthusiasts out there, myself included, you have to understand details about the actual experience is still pretty vague. We do know it's a big part of their game, but we don't know exactly how yet or how we're going to seek it out if we so choose. Whether it's third party in gunfights or intercepting other factions around their fob, we're in the dark. But one thing is clear, PvP is a significant element labeled, and I quote, a big part of the game. The primary focus are the PvE missions, 150 missions designed to get you exploring more and towards the center of the map where the stakes are higher and things get harder. So all the PvP chads out there and the enthusiasts that maybe just want to play the game for that, you need to understand that. That's not the design of this game. Now, we do know there is an appeal for PvP, but I want you to compare the two games real quick. Compare a respawn game like Call of Duty, even Battle Royales, things of that nature. Mindlessly fighting, respawning, fighting, you can PvP your ass off. The thrill of the combat dulls over time. The thrill of fighting the player dulls over time. Running mindlessly around the map seeking PvP is not going to be the intended design of Grey Zone Warfare, period. That does not mean PvP will be bad. But this is the most important thing. I need y'all to understand this. Grey Zone Warfare is going to use PvP as a layer of excitement integrated into the storyline and the missions. The threat of PvP being there and then the gunfights and combat unfolding is what is going to make it fun. It might be more rare than what you're used to with a game like Escape from Tarkov or Hunt Showdown or even Call of Duty DMZ. It's not that. So I need y'all to understand that. As much as you might think that's a bad thing, it's not. The game's design and primary focus is going to revolve around the storyline, period. Uncovering the mystery at the center of the map, the PvP will serve as a high stakes rush, an additional layer that enhances the overall experience. The game's core is going to revolve around the storyline, ultimately trying to uncover the mystery at the center of the map. I believe they've called it the event. As a PvP player myself, guys, I understand the worry about it. I get it. But here's the final thing I want you to consider. Don't be so desensitized to fighting other players that you get this game and you are numb to what it has to offer. PvP is still going to serve as a high stake rush, an additional layer that's going to enhance the overall experience. It will, but I would strongly encourage, prioritize the missions, explore the story, and let the PvP come to you. Even if it's a few engagements a night, I promise you they will be intense and satisfying. Don't be angry with the devs. Don't be trying to change their game. Madfinger Games is developing a very unique experience. I've played first person shooters all my life and I can tell you right now, it is a very unique experience, but it needs to unfold how they envision it. We don't need to pressure them into trying to change something to force more PvP or even lessen it. Let them balance it out how they see fit. And again, coming from a PvP guy, I believe what they have in focus is the right thing, which is the story. In conclusion, Raison Warfare is shaping up to deliver a unique blend of PvE and PvP experiences. Embrace the storyline, relish the missions, and let the surprises unfold. Remember, it's about balance, and that's ultimately what will make every move matter. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Make sure you subscribe, ring the bell. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, make sure you drop them below. I'll address every one of them. Guys, I'm going to be delivering as much Grey Zone Warfare news and updates as I possibly can as the game evolves. I have reason to believe that next week 
a lot of information is going to be coming out, and it's rumored they might be showing a complete playthrough of a mission. Either way, we should know more about the closed playtest soon, as well as early access, which I believe will be coming in the middle or at the end of March. So until next time, guys.